Hello my gothic friends and welcome to my crypt. As you can see my coffin is in the shop so I had to sleep in a proper bed like a fucking prep for the past couple of weeks. But life isn't all dark and depressing because today we are doing my reading of the greatest piece of literary artwork in the history of mankind. My immortal the fan fiction. Also, if I don't get five good revoice, then that means that you are a prep and a poser and I am going to be so pissed. Last time we ended at chapter 11. I said, stop flaming up preps, see if this chapter is stupid, it deals with really stress issues, Sps. see for yourself if it's stupid, bro. Thanks to my friend Raven for clapping me. No, I screamed. I was horror feed. Bloody Mary tried to comfort me, but I told her fuck off and I ran to my room crying myself. Dumbledore chased after me, shouting, but he had to stop when I went into my room, because he would look like a pervert that way. Anyway, I started crying tears of blood and then I slit both of my wrists. They got all over my clothes so I took them off and jumped into a bath angry while I put on a Linkin Park song at full volume. I grabbed a steak and almost stuck it into my heart to commit suicide. I was so fucking depressed. I got out of the bathtub and put on a black low-cut dress with lace all over it sandly. I put on black heels with pink metal stuff on the ends and six pairs of skull earrings. I couldn't fucking believe it. Then I looked out of the window and screamed. Snap was spying on me and he was taking a videotape of it and Lupin was masticating to it. They were sitting on their broomsticks. Ew, you fucking pervert! Stop looking at me naked! Are you pedos or what? I screamed, putting on a black towel with a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. Suddenly, Vampire ran in. Abracadabra! He yelled at Snape and Lupin, pointing his womb. I took my gun and shot Snape and Lupin a gazillion times and they both started screaming and the camera broke. Suddenly Dumbledore ran in. Ebony, it has to be in, it has been revealed that someone has No He shouted looking at Snape and Lupin and then he waved his wand and suddenly Hargrid ran outside on his broom and said, Everyone, we need to talk. What do you know, Hargrid? You're just a little Hogwarts student. I may be a Hogwarts student, Hargrid paused angrily, but I am also a Satanist. This cannot be. Snap said in a crisp voice as blood dripped from his hand where Dumbledore's wand had shot him. There must be other factors. You don't have any, I yelled in madly. Lupin held up the camera triumphantly. The lens may be ruined, but the tape is still there. I felt faint more than I normally do. Like how it feels when you do not drink enough blood. I'm sure you guys can relate to it. Why are you doing this? Lupin said angry while he rubbed his dirty hands on his cloak. And then I heard the words that I have heard before but not from him. I did not know whether to feel shocked and happy or to bite him and drink his blood because I felt faint. Because, because, Hargrid said, and he paused in the air dramatically, waving his wand in the air. Then swooped he in singing to the tune of a coughing version of a song by 50 Cent. Be 
because you're gothic? Snap asked in a little afraid voice, cause he was afraid it meant he was connected with Satan. Because I love her. Chapter 12 Stop effing, okay? Hargreed is a pedo too. A lot of people in the American schools are like that. I wanted to address the issue. How do you know Snap ain't Christian? Plus, Hargreed isn't really in love with Ebony. That was Cedric, okay? I was about to slit my wrists again with the silver knife that Drago had given me in case anything happened to me. I had told, he had told me to use it valiantly against an enemy, but I knew that we must go both together. No, I thought it was Hergrid, but it was Vampire. He started to scream, oh my fucking god, no, my scar hurts, and then his eyes rolled up. You could only see his red whites. I stopped. How did you know? I saw it, and my scar turned back into the lightning bolt. No, I ran closer. I thought he didn't have a scar anymore, I shouted. I do, but Diablo changed it into a pentagram for me, and I always cover it up with foundation, he said back. Anyway, my scar hurt, and he turned back into the lightning bolt. Save me. Then I had a vision of what was happening to Draco. Wolfamord has him bondage. Anyway, I was in the school nurse's office now, recovering from my slit wrists. Snap and Lupin and Hachgrid were there too. They were going to St. Mango's after they recovered because they were pedophiles and you don't have those fucking purse stitching in a school with lots of hot girls. Dumbledore had constipated the CDO camera they took of me naked. I put up my middle finger at them. Anyway, Hargrid came into my hospital bed holding a bouquet of pink roses. NLB, I need to tell you something, he said in a very serious voice, giving me the roses. Back off, I told him. You know I fucking hate the color pink anyway, and I don't like fuck fucked up preps like you. I snapped. Hargrid had been mean to me before for being gothic. No, Enobi, Hargrid said, these are not roses. What? Are they goths too, you poser prep? I asked him because I was angry that he had brought me pink roses. I saved your life, he yelled angrily. No, you didn't, I replied. You saved me from getting a Paris Hilton P video made from your shower scene and being viewed by Snap and Lupin who masturbated. See, is that spelled wrong? To it, he added silently. Whatever, I yelled angrily. He pointed his wand at the roses. These aren't roses. He suddenly looked at them with an evil look in his eye and muttered, Well, if you wanted honesty, that's all I had to say. That's not a spell, that's a My Chemical Romance song, I corrected him wisely. I know, I was just warming up my vocal cords. Then he screamed, Petulus merengo mi cremini romasio. To all cool gothic My Chemical Romance fans out, there, that was a tribute, especially for Raven, I love you girl. Imo noto okayo. And then the roses turned into a huge black flame floating into the middle of the air, and it was black. Now I knew he wasn't a prep. Okay, I believe you. Now where the fuck is Draco? Herod rolled his eyes. 
I looked into the bowls of the flames, but I couldn't see nothing. You see, Enobi, Dumbledore said, watching the two of us watching the flame. You see what is in the flames? Haha, <laughs> your viewers' flames, get it? You must find yourself first, okay? I have found myself, okay, you mean old man, Hargrid yelled. Dumb Lidor looked shocked. I guess he didn't have a headache or else he would have said something back. Hargrid stormed back into his bed. You are a liar, Professor Dumbledore. Anyway, when it got better, I went upstairs and put on black leather mini dress that was all ripped on the ends with lace on it. There was some corset stuff on the front. Then I put on black fishnets and black high-heeled boots with pictures of Billy Joe Armstrong on them. I put my hair out around my face so I looked like Samara from The Ring. If you don't know who she is, then you are prep so fuck off. And I put on blood red lipstick, black eyeliner and black lip gloss. You look kawaii girl, Bloody Mary said sadly. Thanks, Garrett. You do too, I said sadly too. But I was still upset. I slit both my wrists feeling totally depressed and I sucked all the blood. I cried again in my bathroom and put the shades on so Snap and Lupin couldn't spy on me this time. I went to some classes. Vampire was in the hair of magical magic creatures. He looked all depressed because Draco had disappeared and he had used to be in love with Draco. He was sucking some blood from a Hufflepuff. Hi, he said in a depressed way. Hi back, I said in an equally sad way. We both looked at each other for some time. Harry had beautiful red gothic eyes, so much like Draco's. Then we jumped each other and started screwing each other. Stop it now, you horny simpletons, shouted Professor McGoogle, who was watching us and so was everybody else. Vampire, you fucker, I said, slapping him. Stop screwing me. You know I loved Draco, I shouted, and then I ran away angrily. Just then he started to scream. Oh my fucking god, no, my scar hurts. And then his eyes rolled up. You could only see his red whites. No, I ran up closer. I thought you didn't have a scar anymore, I shouted. I do, but Diablo changed it into a pentagram for me, and I always cover it up with foundation, he said back. Anyway, my scar hurts, and then I had a vision of what was happening to Draco. Wolfamort had him in bondage. Special thanks to Raven, my gothic's blood sister. What the fuck? You're supposed to write this? Hey Raven, do you know where my sweater is? Chapter 13 Raven, thanks for helping me again. I'm sorry I took your poster of Jared, but that guy is such a fucking sex bomb. Perhaps stop flaming. Vampire and I ran up the stairs looking for Dumbledore. We were so scared. Dumbledore, Dumbledore, we both yelled. Dumbledore came there. What is it that you want, you despicable snobs? He asked angrily. Voldemort has Draco! We both shouted at the same time. He laughed in an evil voice. No, don't! We need to save Draco, we begged. No, he said meanly. I don't give a darn what Voldemort does to Draco. Not after how much he misbehaved in school, especially with you, Ebony. He said while he frowned, looking at me. Besides, I never really, really liked him that much anyway. Then he walked away. Vampire started crying. My Draco, he moaned. Don't you think gay guys are like so hot? 
It's okay, I tried to tell him, but he didn't stop him. He started to cry tears of blood. Then he had a brainstorm. I have an idea, he exclaimed. What? I asked him. You see, he said. He took out his wand and did a spell. Then, suddenly, you were in Voldemort's hair. He ran in with our wands out, just as we heard a croon voice said, Allah Kedavra. It was Voldemort. Chapter 14 Back up, perhaps, okay? Raven, thanks for helping again. I'm sorry I couldn't update, but I was depressed and I had to go to the hospital because I slit my wrists. P.S. I'm not updating till you give me 10 good revoice. Warning. Some of this chapter is extremely scray. Voyeur's excretion advised. We ran to where Volsamort was. It turned out that Voldemort wasn't there. Instead, the fat guy who killed Cedric was. Draco was there, crying tears of blood. Snake Tail was torturing him. Vampire and I ran in front of Snake Tail. Read my sight, you despicable preps, he shouted as we started shooting him with a gun. He then suddenly looked at me and he fell down with a lovey-dovey look in his eyes. He said, in his, he's 16 years old, so he's not a pedophile, okay? Huh? I asked. Enabi, I love you. Will you have sex with me? Asked Snake Tail. I started laughing crudely. What the fuck? You torture my boyfriend and then you expect me to fuck you? God, you're so fucked up, you fucking bastard. I said angrily. Then I stabbed him into the heart. Blood poured out like a fountain. No! He screamed. He started screaming and running around. Then he fell down and died. I burst into tears sadly. Snake tail, what art thou doing? called Voldemort. Then he started coming. Damn straight he did. We could hear his high heels clacking to us, so we got out of our broomsticks and we flew to Hogwarts. We went to my room, vampire ran away, then I started crying. What's wrong, honey? asked Draco, taking off his clothes so we could screw. He had the sex pack. Good, because he was so sexy. And a really huge you-know-what and everything. It's so unfair, I yelled. Why can't I just be ugly or plain like all the other girls and preps here except for Bloody Mary, because she's not ugly or anything. Why would you want to be ugly? I don't like these preps anyway. They are such fucking sluts, answered Draco. Yeah, but... Everyone is in love with me, like Snape and Lupin took a video of me naked, Hargrid says he's in love with me, Vampire likes me, and now even Snake Tail is in love with me. I just want to be with you, okay, Draco? Why couldn't Satan have made me less beautiful? Basically, that's what I ask myself every day as well. I shouted angry. Don't worry, Ebony isn't a snob or anything, but a lot of people have told her she's pretty. I'm good at too many things. Why can't I just be normal? It's a fucking curse. I shouted and then I ran away. Chapter 15 Stop flaming, okay? By the way, you suck. From now on, every time someone flames me, I'm gonna slit my wrists. Thanks to Raven for clapping. Ebony, Ebony, shouted Draco sadly. No, please come back. But I was too mad. 
whatever now we can go have sex with the vampire i shouted i stormed into my room and closed my black door with my blood red key i had the picture of Marilyn manson he looked so sexy in a way that reminded me of draco and vampire i started to cry and weep i took a razor and started to slit my wrists i drank the blood all depressed then I looked at my black good Charlotte watch and noticed it was time to go to biology class. I put on a short, ripped black gothic dress that said anarchy on the front in blood red letters and was all ripped and a spiky belt. Under that I put on ripped black fishnets and boots that said Joel all over them with blood red letters. I put my ebony black hair out. Anyway, I went downstairs feeling all sad and depressed as usual. I did some advanced biology work. I was turning a bloody pentagram into a black guitar. Suddenly, the guitar turned to Draco. Enobi, I love you, he shouted sadly. I don't care what those fucking preps and posers think. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Before I met you, I used to want to commit suicide all the time. Now I just want to fucking be with you. I fucking love you. Then he started to sing the chronicles of life and death. We consider it our song now because we fell in love when Joel was singing it. Right in front of the entire, entire class. His singing voice was so amazing and gothic and sexy, like a cross between Gerard Joel, Chester Pierre and Marilyn Manson. Don't you think those guys are so hot? If you don't know who they are, get the fuck out of here. Oh my fucking god, I said after he had finished. Some fucking prep stared at us, but I was just stuck my middle finger at them. They were covered in black nail polish and were intertwined with Draco's nail at them. I love you, I said, and then we started to kiss like pa like Hilary Duff. I think he that bitch and CMM in a Cinderella story. Then we went away holding hands. Lupin shouted at us, but... He stopped because everyone was clapping at how sexy we looked together. Then I saw a poster saying that My Chemical Romance would have a concert in Hogsmeade right then. We looked at each other all shocked and then we went together. Don't you just love it when your favorite band has an impromptu concert just then and there? We are going to stop here. I kind of wanted to do another chapter, but the next one seems pretty long and my battery will be basically flatlining soon, so I just didn't want to risk it. And we're going to stop here for the now. Anyway, now I'm going to go put on my black leather mini skirt that's all ripped in the back and has these corset things in the front, because I'm gothic, but I also moonlight as a hooker. Thanks for watching guys, bye!